guys, this is Mark Saint for Brazil and Subtitled. Your channel to get to know all you ever wanted to know about Brazil, but in English. Today I come with nine tips that might be useful for you tourists visiting the city of Sao Paulo. Uh, you know Brazil is a continental country and uh, I live in the city of Sao Paulo, the biggest city in, in South America. And I have nine interesting tips for you who's coming to the city. The first one, let's go. The first tip is take the train from the airport to the city of Sao Paulo, to the downtown area. There are three options for you to do that. Um, prices and the options can be found up here on this link of a video that I have already filmed. You have options of taxis and Uber, of course, but Nowadays, the option of train is a cheap one and it will take you to the major subway lines in the city. So consider that when you come. Tip number two, the subway lines in Sao Paulo. Which are they? I'm going to tell you right now. We have the blue line that goes from north to south. Uh, north, the, the station is Tucuruvi, south. Jabaquara. We have the red line, which is east to west. East is uh, Corinthians e Taquera. West, Palmeiras Barra Funda. We have the yellow line, which on one end is São Paulo Morumbi, and the other end is Estação da Luz. Estação da Luz, by the way, is a big uh, train station that you get off when you come from the airport on the express train. Also, there is a video that shows Estação da Luz here. We also have the Green Line, which is considered to be the Paulista Avenue subway line because it covers the whole extension of Paulista Avenue. Uh, on one side, you have Vila Madalena, which is also a place for great bars and restaurants, and the other side, Vila Prudente. We also have the Lilac Line, in the subway of Sao Paulo. The Lilac Line goes from Capão Redondo to Chacara Clabin, and it also has connections to the Blue Line and to the Green Line. So check the maps out on the description of the video. I will leave an address for you to check everything about the lines, okay? The price of the subway, the, the, the subway fare is four reais and 40 cents. Um, by the way, talking about money, uh, the, the exchange rate between the dollar and the real is today five reais and 30 cents. So you have a lot of firepower when you come to the city. Tip number three, places to go shopping. Uh, the focus of my video is for the low budget, mid budget uh, traveler. I could always uh, suggest you Oscar Freire Street, which is a very classy and fancy uh, street with brand uh, clothes, but that's not the point. The point is where do you buy souvenirs in the city? Go to 25 de Março. 25 de Março sells everything from electronics to baseball caps to shoes to stationery. You can find lots of Chinese and Koreans selling things there. You also have street vendors. The place is, is crazy. The streets are full, but it's an interesting experience once you are in the city. Paulistas also buy clothes uh, in Brás. Brás is a neighborhood that can be accessed through the red line of the subway station. You can find tennis shoes, clothes in general there, and the prices are pretty reasonable. Um, places to eat. This is the tip number four. We have, first of all, to say that it depends on the kind of uh, ethnic foods that you want to eat. Sao Paulo is a melting pot, so you have a lot of immigration to the city. If you want to have the Japanese food, or the Asian food, you go to Liberdade, also a video right here. Italian food, go to Bixiga, the neighborhood of Bixiga, great place with great canteens, great Italian restaurants. Feijoada and Samba, I'll give you one important uh, suggestion. 
Bar Brahma. Brahma is a, a brand of beer we have in Brazil, and they have this bar with feijoada, amazing Brazilian food, and samba. And also Mercadão Municipal, another link here where you can have pastel, a Brazilian uh, snack. You can have fruit and exotic food. Uh, tip number five, lookouts. Where do you go for lookouts? Sesc Paulista, probably the most beautiful lookout in the city. You want to have an overview of Paulista Avenue? This is a great place. And uh, it's open until 9, uh, 9.30 p.m. So you have the opportunity to see the city at night and those beautiful lights. Uh, on Sesc Paulista Lookout, I had the opportunity to interview an American tourist, an American visitor to the city. The link is right here. Just click on it and you will see. And uh, the lookout is on the 17th floor of the building, of Sesc Paulista building. Farol Santander, a big building. You have a great 360 view of the city. Also, link here. Edificio Martinelli, uh, great place as well. The first skyscraper of the city. Uh, these two, Edificio Martinelli is free of charge. Farol Santander, you gotta pay something like 30 to 35 reais. Terraço Italia, there is a great restaurant on top of this building. It's located downtown. You also have a great view of the landscape, of the skyline of the city. Uh, you gotta pay 30 reais per person though. With this amount, you are entitled to have a drink from this restaurant I told you. We also have Edificio Copan, free, you don't need to pay to go upstairs. And uh, all these places uh, have specific timetables for you to visit. They will be available for you on the description of the video. Tip number six, neighborhood for bars, for restaurants and for nightclubs. Villa Madalena is a great place for bars, for, for nightlife and also for restaurants. We also have Moema, Pinheiros, Vila Mariana, Jardins. Jardins is close to me here. It's an amazing place, pretty close to Paulista Avenue. So you gotta go and see for yourself. Uh, tip number seven. Brazil has soccer as its favorite sport. Want to get to know some soccer stadiums? Suggestion number one, Corinthians Itaquera. If you have been paying attention to this video, there is a, a train station with this name uh, going to the, the east side. The red line gets you there, okay? Um, the price for you to have a tour visit inside the, the, the stadium is 45 reais. Corinthians is hands down the most famous club in the city of Sao Paulo and the second most famous in Brazil. There's a controversy if it's Flamengo in Rio or Corinthians in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo Morumbi is another big stadium in the city. Uh, the tour is 50 reais. You can get to know all the place. You also have uh, a station with this name. When you take the yellow line to, Corin to Sao Paulo Morumbi, you will be pretty close to the stadium on a walking distance. Gigante pela própria natureza Alfredo Os belos fortes valem no poço Que teu futuro espelha essa grandeza Terra dourada Entre outras mil és tu, Brasil, ó pátria amada Os filhos deste sol és meu gentil Pátria amada, Brasil Palmeiras Barra Funda, another important soccer club in, in Sao Paulo. The Experience Tour costs 70 reais. Okay, it's a very modern stadium. Corinthians Itaquera and Palmeiras Barra Funda are the most modern stadiums because they have been uh, made over for the World Cup 2014 here in Brazil, that happened here in Brazil. 
Uh, tip number eight, where do you, do you have live samba? <laughs> Where can you watch live samba while you eat or you drink something? Caipirinha, for example. You can go to Bar Brahma here downtown, or you can go to Bar Mangueira. Both addresses can be also found on the description of this video. Tip number nine. How do you get around Sao Paulo? You have uh, those cars by application like Uber. Here in Sao Paulo, we have a famous one called 99. You can download the app and you can uh, request your ride. Uh, but if, if the trip is short, if you are on Paulista Avenue, for example, or in Pinheiros and you want to go from a block or two blocks away, you can take a scooter, okay? You can get a scooter using an app. I'm going to leave you the description. Nowadays we have Rappi, but we have other applications, so it's a good suggestion. But the best way for you to get around is definitely the subway. Uh, I will make a specific video about the subway in Sao Paulo, because uh, I need to explain you how to get the cards and everything. It's not something so easy to do that in this video. All right. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I tried to be as fast as I could and give you uh, as much information as I could give you. If you like this video, please click on like, subscribe to the channel for you to receive more videos about Brazil and click on the bell button for these notifications to get to your cell phone or your computer. This is Mark Saints. Thank you very much. Keep following us.